think as a matter of, you know, of course, we've just actually designated ibrutinib as obviously first generation since it was the first BTK inhibitor. Xanabrutinib and acalabrutinib are both sort of best considered as second generation BTK inhibitors. And in fact, because all three really bind covalently to the same residue and really work through the same mechanism in terms of their efficacy, the only real difference is the actual specificity and in the drug-drug interaction. So because of differences in specificity, we see fewer off-target effects with a calibrutinib and xanabrutinib than we do with ibrutinib. We therefore see different side effect profiles, and we also, because of the differences in how the drugs are metabolized, do see differences in um, their interactions with other. 